I want to learn the bar muscle up. I've been encouraged by so many women around me who've achieved this impressive feat, including women that I follow online, such as Summer Fun Fitness. Here she is smashing her bar muscle up. She even does them for reps like their pull-ups. After being forced to take a break from calisthenics due to an injury in early 2023, I've come back in 2024 stronger and more determined than ever. I was unable to commit to regular training, but now I think is the time to really dedicate myself and hopefully I will get mine in 2025. I said it here first, I don't want to jinx it, but we'll see. As of last month, I've been doing a few specific exercises to try and help me on my muscle up journey that I will share with you in this video. To do this, I swing over the bar doing a pullover and then gradually try to descend from the bar as slow as I can. Usually there's a little point right about here where people tend to drop quite quickly, which means they need to work on strength on that particular part. Practicing the eccentric as in the negative part of the movement is a great way of ironing out any issues that you have when conducting the full muscle up. Even if you can already muscle up, negative muscle ups are fantastic to build overall strength in the muscle up to ensure that you can do it fluidly and easily. I said that slowly because I can't imagine a day I can do a muscle up, let alone do it easily, but I know the day will come if I keep on being consistent. To supplement this, I often try to fatigue myself by doing a few very deep single bar dips before attempting a negative muscle up. So here you can see they're quite messy because I'm deliberately trying to go deeper than you would if you were just repping out single bar dips. I find I can build endurance this way, even though it does mean when I eventually do complete the negative muscle up, I can't go as slow as I initially would have had I not done those very deep single bar dips previously. Side note, watching me do these in film always reminds me of a rolling pin going over dough before baking bread. Even my sports bra got caught on the bar. If your legs flare a little bit, what's really important with this move is to keep the elbows completely tucked in beside your core throughout the whole movement. This is easier to do the stronger you get. As you progress with these, you may want to do an even deeper single bar dip like I do here. And of course, there are gonna be some times where you just can't get all the way up again. As well as increasing the negative muscle up reps that you do, you can try to make the movement extremely slow. Here is a 30 second negative muscle up. I seem to have ironed out most of the weak points as there's no dramatic drops throughout the movement and I ensure that I can add some endurance by adding a cheeky little pull up at the end. When you've ensured that you've got a nice, slow negative muscle up with no dramatic drops throughout the movement, you can do deep dips and pull ups to increase endurance before and after the movement to work on your endurance and keep those muscles under tension for longer. Obviously, the stronger you get and the easier this is for you, the more single bar dips you can do at the beginning and the more pull ups you can do after the negative muscle up. Here's a sped up version of me repping out loads of single bar dips, the negative muscle up, and then a few pull ups towards the end. I'm glad to see that even though I've sped up this video, I'm not swinging all over the place because I'm maintaining a strong core. Even though I've improved, it's still not a strong linear progression. There are days where that single bar dip is just too low, or where my reps look messy and I'm shaking from side to side. It's not going to be great all the time, but when I have days like this, I like to remember where I started from. I started off not even being able to go deep enough for the single bar dip, and my elbows would flare horizontally. Even when I managed to get the depth and became faster, I still couldn't control my elbows flaring out. After I mastered good technique doing single bar dips, when I attempted a negative muscle up, I would just swing all the way to the bottom. I was surprised going back to this disability ramp in the ice rink that I train in, just how different it feels now to do the same movement. As you can see, no steel bar is safe from me. 
But this is the thing, when you want something so much, you've got to keep greasing the groove, taking whatever opportunity you can to practice, practice, practice. The body will adapt to whatever you subject it to. So the more you do something, the more comfortable you will be doing that thing. And lastly, we've spoken about reps before and after the negative muscle up, but what about during? In this 50 second negative muscle up attempt, I try doing little positive concentric movements throughout the whole of the eccentric movement. Not sure if that makes sense, but watch the video to find out what I mean. As I descend down, I try little ascents, injecting tiny pull-up movements throughout. After all that, that pull-up at the end was a massive struggle. Next, we have explosive, plyometric, jump, high pull-ups, whatever you want to call them. Muscle ups need power. I've just started these, so I'm not great. And I know I'm using my legs to give me that momentum to pull all the way upwards. Give me that height like I'm flying. But I'm a big fan of doing what you have to do to get the movement done at the beginning, even if it means the reps look a little bit messy. The last one. The last one. See how with both of these, I'm practically diagonal as opposed to being in a straight line. This applies to when they're banded also. The trick with these, apart from the obvious, which is the strength you need to pull up, is to pull almost diagonally behind the bar as opposed to just vertically up. And of course, we've got to work in the strength in general. I've got an entire separate video on my weighted dip journey as well as another video on my weighted pull-up journey. So if you'd like to see those, just have a look on my channel. Because I'm still doing my weighted pull-ups and weighted dips to gain more strength and hopefully increase the weight that I can pull up and dip. I go into more detail in my other videos. I would be remiss if I didn't add the weighted pull-ups and weighted dips to some of my essential exercises that will one day enable me to get the bar muscle up. It's been about one month since I've dedicated myself to this goal and I've already seen massive improvements. They've even improved my reps in body weight pull-ups in general, as you can see here. These are the three main exercises that I've implemented in my training routine to enable me to get this bar muscle up. If you can think of any more, please feel free to write them in the comments. YouTube thinks you'll like this video next. And as always, thank you for watching my video. Give me a little like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon. Ciao.